In the last few videos I've been looking at repairing some power supplies for these Trend 612 paper tape punches. Uh, they're all now repaired and working so I thought I'd give a very quick uh, overview of the machine, demonstrate it working. Before I do that, just a quick correction. Due to some unfortunate editing in my first video, I gave the impression that these particular machines were from the mid to late 60s. Um, I was actually discussing the um, history of trend itself, which goes back to mid to late 60s. And uh, due to the way I, I edited the video, I said that uh, these particular units were from that period. And they're not, they're actually from the early to mid 1980s, so these are much later but the original trend machines go right back to um, mid to late 60s so this is a very mature machine um, that's kind of the point i was trying to make but um, when i edited the video i took out the important bit about the uh, history of trend because it's a bit of a long-winded video so as i say these are from uh, early to mid 80s a very nice machine they're not particularly fast maximum speed's about 300 board um, which is obviously very slow for a tape reader these days but even so back then that was a, a very good performance for one of these we'll have a quick look at the uh, machine I'll show it working so firstly this was um, originally designed as a, an accessory to the 615 uh, teleprinter and um, because it was an accessory what they did is they had the power arranged so it could all be daisy chained so you fed power to one unit and then that was used to feed power to the next and so on. So it's quite a nice arrangement. It's a very long machine, it's hard to get across in the video, but this is sort of probably two feet long, but quite a nice narrow footprint. Um, so it's, it's quite a nice machine once it's on the desk, as long as uh, you've got plenty of uh, depth. Very nice looking machine. Um, also, I apologise if there's any interference on the sound on uh, these videos. The trend does tend to give off a lot of um, EM interference that uh, my camera's picking up and I have tried to uh, get rid of it but uh, to no avail so apologies if there's any uh, interference on sound. Uh, so nice uh, smoked Perspex cover in extremely good condition. Very easy machine to set up it's got uh, the information directly printed on the machine itself just a series of um, dip switches, very easy to set up, a really nice uh, paper transport mechanism, very easy to lace up, works extremely well. Um, these are all um, designed to a similar theme where you have uh, an arm that's controlled by paper tension and that in turn controls a braking system on the reel and that uh, in uh, conjunction with the tape being pulled from the print head or the punch head uh, maintains a fairly constant uh, tape tension. Uh, all very nicely designed. I realise it's coming across as quite a noisy machine on the videos, but it's actually really quiet. I'm not quite sure why it sounds quite so noisy on the videos. So, put the cover back on. And so at the front we've got the control panel. I'll just move the camera so you can see the control panel a bit better, and then we'll try running some tapes through it. So it is of course a combination punch and reader. Very nice little reader, one of the smallest I've ever seen. Uh, works extremely well. Uh, what I'll do is I'll run a program through it. We'll load a program from tape, or at least read the tape, into a terminal program. So as usual, I'll bring the terminal program up here so we can see the data being received by the PC. So I'll now load a tape into the reader. And what uh, we do now is just press the um, start button for the reader. So as you see it's not particularly fast but uh, it's extremely quiet. And I'll fast forward through the remainder of the loading process.
Okay, so that took about two and a half minutes. Not uh, particularly fast, but certainly beats typing it in. So if you want to duplicate a tape, that's very easy. We just load the source tape into the reader. Make sure the punch is on. And then we have a duplicate of the tape. We can of course send files from the PC to the punch. So we turn line on and then we send the file. So as you can see it's a very nice punch, very easy to use, not the fastest but certainly uh, well worth having one of these and um, a nice bit of history.